talking all about levers. Now, levers are all around us in our houses. And once you've done this investigation, you might be able to find some. Okay, so let's imagine we have got a tin of paint or treacle like this for cooking with, and we want to get the lid off. Well, how do you get the lid off? Well, the answer is we need a lever. So I've got some coins here that might be useful for getting the tin lid off, and I've got some spoons. I think I'm gonna start with the small one, see how easy it is to get the lid off. I'm pushing quite hard, and hmm, that's not really shifting anywhere. Let's try 2P. I still, I just don't have enough to press down on it. It's too hard just there. I have to push too hard and I can't get the lid off because I can't push that hard with my thumb. Right, I'm going to try the spoon. Oh, look. Now, look how far my hand is from the point at which it pivots. That's lifted it, look. And it's lifted it nice and safely. So let's have a think about levers. I wonder what might happen if we used a bigger spoon with a longer handle. Well, maybe by the end, you'll be able to tell me. Another place to find levers, other than in the house, is at the playground. There's one piece of equipment you can go on, which tips. So we're gonna go outside now and have a look at a seesaw I've made in the garden. I'm gonna get on this end. My mate Ollie's gonna get on the other end. Ah, oh. well, that's not very good, is it? I suppose it's all supposed to go up and down, but I guess Ollie's not as heavy as I am. Well, I wonder if we could get to a point where we are lifting my end up. I reckon though, if we did it right, that you could lift me. Right, try it with one finger. Woohoo! Can you think of anything you already know about this? Pause the recording to have a think. I wonder if you thought of any of these things. Something else that uses levers is a catapult. How about we investigate catapults and what makes it go really far? So I've got my catapult on and I've got something, a screwed up piece of paper, so it's not gonna hurt anything or anyone if it hits them in the house. And I'm working in a space so that I'm not gonna catapult it into anyone. And now I just need something to go underneath to make it like a seesaw. All right, so I've got various things that could go underneath. I could put it over any of these. They're all different sizes. Can you see that in cross section and different thicknesses? So I could try, first of all, I'm going to try the thinnest one. So I'm going to try my pen, pop it under there. Now, where shall I put it? Near the spoon end or far from the spoon end? I'm going to try it in the middle to start with and see if it makes a good catapult. I'm going to hold on to the pen so it doesn't move and then I'm going to press this end down and hopefully that end will fly up. Ready? Oh, well, it went up, but it didn't go forwards. Right, let's try it when it's right at the other end from the spoon, see what happens. Oh, it is getting there, but it's not brilliant. Now, what else could we change? We could change the spoon so I could have a little spoon. I might want to change the middle thing. Remember those round pieces we had? So we could change where it pivots. We could take this pen out and put it across there. So, what do you want to investigate? Which one makes the catapult throw the ball the furthest? What questions do you have? I wonder if you thought of any of these questions. What 
What will you find out today? Have fun trying all your levers. <laughs>